Good. Good morning, everyone. Happy Veterans Day. Today, uh, we honor them. We also have the feast day of uh, St. Martin de Tours, who just so happens to be the patron, saint, one of his patron, uh, the saints that he's patron of his soldiers. So it's uh, kind of an opera, uh, happy coincidence. I shall raise up for myself a faithful priest who will act in accord with my heart and my mind, says the Lord. I welcome you to our celebration of the Lord's Supper in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And as we take a moment, we prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, asking our Lord for pardon and peace for our waywardness. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to new life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O oh God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin of Tours, both by his life and death. Make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Mass this morning is for Fanny Marchetti. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. In wisdom is a spirit, intelligent, holy, unique, manifold, subtle, agile, clear, unsubstained, certain, not painful, loving the good, keen, unhampered, beneficial, kindly, firm, secure, tranquil, all-powerful, all-seeing, and pervading all spirits, though they be intelligent, pure, and very subtle. For wisdom is mobile beyond all motion, and she penetrates and pervades all things by reason of her purity. For she is an aura of the might of God and a pure effusion of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, not that his soul enters into her. For she is the refuge of eternal life, the spotless mirror of the power of God, the image of his goodness. And she who is one can do all things and renews everything while herself per doing. And passing into holy souls from age to age, she produces friends of God and prophets. For there is not God loves, be it not one who dwells with wisdom. For she is fairer than the sun and surpasses all every consolation of the stars. Compared to light, she takes presence. For that, indeed, night supplants. But wickedness pervades not over wisdom. Indeed, she reaches from end to end mightily and governs all things well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your word is forever, Lord. Your word is forever, Lord. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Forever, Lord. Through all generations, your truth endures. You have established the earth, and it stands firm. Your word is forever, Lord. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. 
Your word is forever. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Your word is forever, Lord. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Your word is forever, Lord. Let my soul live to praise you and may your ordinances help me. Your word is forever. Alleluia. 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 I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce it. Look, here it is, or there it is. Behold, for behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and, uh, flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> well, I hope you listen closely to that first reading. I'm going to start out with a sidebar here. There are over 30 attributes in that first reading assigned to wisdom. Tomorrow there will be a pop quiz for 10. You are not to go back to review. No. Uh, we hear again the age-old story in the Gospels of the scribes and the Pharisees and so forth wanting signs. There were certain signs that they believed that come down through their history uh, before the Messiah would appear. Uh, one was the, that Elijah would return. Another was that they would be made rulers over the people, so forth. Jesus did not indicate any of those signs. Jesus came as a different kind of a Messiah, a Messiah that would change hearts and minds, not change everything around them, making everything in a sense under their power, or showing them a great leader like David or, or uh, Elijah. So this was the difficulty that Jesus had in trying to convert their minds and really their history to what he was saying to them. I am bringing you a new uh, commandment. And that commandment, of course, is to love, to love one another, to change stony hearts, to get rid of our stony hearts as well, and to make them loving hearts, and uh, to stop looking for signs out there. He said, the kingdom is among you. The Greek word, I'm told, for among means also within you. Not only among you, but within you. And as we know, in the case of love, it has to start with us. We have to change our stony hearts into good, natural, and loving hearts. 
And of course, we know this is a lifelong journey for us. We've been working at it all through our lives. That's why we're here today. And uh, Martin of Tours is a good example of that, the fe uh, feast uh, the, uh, today. He lived in the 300s mostly, very early church. As a young boy, he at 15, he was conscripted into the army. He did not want to fight. He uh, was really a conscientious objector in his day. And uh, how that went, I'm not sure. But at the age of 18, he converted to Christianity. Uh, he then started on a life of uh, following the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Eventually became a monk and a priest. He lived as a monk for about 10 years, and uh, he was in, uh, opened the first monastery, they believe, in France, and uh, lived near Tours. His life was such a great example that the people of Tours, by popular acclaim, made him bishop. Those kinds of things happened in that early church. Uh, but he continued to be uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, humble and simple man. He uh, accepted the role of bishop. One of his efforts was to teach the priests to live uh, good lives. Many priests were married in those days, but he taught them how to do the liturgy and how to serve people. He himself was uh, serve the poor. So as I mentioned earlier, one of his uh, patrons that he, uh, he is patron of is uh, soldiers. The other thing is wineries. It's not a bad thing, I don't think. And also a patron of France. So let us uh, take the example of Martin of Tours. Look into ourselves. Convert our hearts. He converted his to Christianity. And live the kingdom of God among us. Uh, if we do that, and if we do it in a very simple, poor way, we are doing what the Lord wants of us. He didn't go out looking, Jesus didn't go out looking for rich and powerful and wealthy and important people. He picked the poor, the simple, and the humble because that's what he wanted to continue to teach in his uh, church. And that's hopefully what we are able to teach today. So in honor of veterans and in honor of the soldier, my sister sent me a little prayer about veterans. And I will end with that. O oh Lord, today we thank you for our veterans, for their willingness to risk all so that our nation might dwell in peace and safety. May they find the honor and recognition they truly deserve. We pray that you will heal the physical, spiritual, and psychological wounds of our veterans who have suffered so much. Bringing, bring a lasting peace to those who mourn the loss of the com their comrades. Help them to find love and mercy so that they may cope with the actions they may have to have had take, to take while they were serving our country. Make them realize that the rules of engagement in war do not always follow the laws of Christianity but give them a solace by your scripture passages that show them that sometimes battle is necessary for the common good. Amen. And we will continue our prayers of intercession now. We pray for uh, Fanny Marchetti and all those who have died recently, and especially for all of our deceased veterans. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our church as we pray in the Our Father that the Lord is among us, uh, that, but that we need, need to make that Lord among us a reality. It's up to us. A kingdom of God will, and, uh, that will be the same as it is in heaven. This is our prayer. This is our hope. And this is the way we should conduct our lives. So for this grace today, we pray to the Lord. Pray for all those that have asked of our prayers, those that are uh, uh, sick and suffering, those that are dealing with the other kinds of difficulties of family and uh, with friends, baby. We pray for healing and comfort for them. We pray to the Lord. 
And uh, we, uh, I always like to pray for in thanksgiving to God for all the people that pray for us and uh, that we pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Your prayers today. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for your blessings to us and your love. We thank you for all the calls that you have made over the, over time. We thank you for the call that Martin of Tours uh, uh, answered. We pray that we continue to answer your call to us so that your kingdom can truly live among us. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Joe. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Now with humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O God, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. And Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Thank you, Joe. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice here and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, O God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin of Tours, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. His right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, Martin of Tours today, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels, saints, and people of heaven, we too give thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are holy indeed, O gracious God, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O God, we humbly implore you that by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. So do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim in that the Lord, the passion and resurrection until we Therefore, O oh God, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed us to be reconciled to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. <clears throat> may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, may, may he make of us a, an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. <clears throat> May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of, of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Salvatore Corte Leon, the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family that you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, especially Fanny Marchetti, uh, give kind admittance into your kingdom. There we, and particularly veterans, hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, praising and thanking the Father, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but to live Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and you say to us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ here be with you always. And with your spirit. <clears throat> and now let us share safely that peace with one another. Please get the support. And we pray, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace, namely of this body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to all. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Christ, the body of 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 Christ
the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. The Lord and the body of Christ for you. Amen. And the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. And the body of Christ. Grant us who have been restored by this sacrament of unity, O oh God, perfect harmony with your, uh, your will in all things, that just as St. Martin of Tours submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. <clears throat> we'll pray the Hail Mary for all of those who have been uh, uh, abused and uh, ask for a restore, restoration of justice for all. So we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, our sick, our veterans. Let his face shine upon all of us and be gracious to us, looks kindly on us and gives us his peace and blesses us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in the peace and love and joy of the Lord to live out the Lord's way among us and within us. Making it a good day. Enjoy your breakfast and let the rains come, okay?